Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is Wednesday, October the 30th, 2019. Let's talk NBA basketball, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, gamblers should be aware. Casinos make some of their biggest profits off futures bets as well as off parlay bettors. Right? Now, by the way, I believe those are the two areas where you should be betting, but how you structure the bet is everything. So, my advice when it comes to parlays, don't do point spread parlays. Just don't. Right? Also, don't do three event parlays, three game parlays. Too much can go wrong. Some favorite is going to lose. Someone is going to get injured. You're not going to see it coming. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take three games. What I want you to do is to get three different double parlays out of it. Right? You're playing doubles. So the three games, let's say game A, B, and C. One parlay should be game A linked with game B. The next parlay should be game A linked with game C. And then your third parlay should be game B linked with game C. So that's three different doubles, right, off of a series of three games. So if you lose one game, you still have an opportunity to win other parts of the bet. Now the three games I like are first, and again this is money line, right? I like the Philadelphia 76ers, who I consider to be the best team in the Eastern Conference over the Minnesota Timberwolves, right? I know the T-Wolves have been hot, but the game is in Philly and Bede is playing inspired basketball, I just think that the 76ers here make a statement. Right? The 76ers are at a minus 310. The next game I like, I like the road team here. The Houston Rockets on the road at the Washington Wizards. Let's face it, the Wizards are rebuilding. They're lucky Bradley Beal agreed to his new contract. As short as that new contract is. I think Harden is working out the kinks with Russell Westbrook. Right? I think the Rockets are back. I think they are poised for takeoff. I like the Rockets at a minus 340. The last game, I like the Toronto Raptors at home against the Detroit Pistons. Understand, Blake Griffin is not expected to play. The Pistons are not at full strength. Even though the Raptors are without Kawhi Leonard, right? They're champions. They still have the heart of a champion. These guys are not going to lay down. I like the Raptors at a minus 420. So those are the three games my advice is to play them as doubles, right? Use those three games to have three different parlays. Again, the winner of game A against the winner of game C, right? You want to link that. The winner of game A against the winner of game B, you want to link that. The winner of game B against the winner, you know, with the winner of game C, you want to link that. Right? So, three games, you should be able to get three doubles out of it in setting up the parlay. This way, if one of these games blows up on you, if game A blows up on you, you still win the parlay of B linked with C. That's how I see it on Wednesday, October the 30th. I like Philly, Houston, and Toronto. Right? Let me also say, too, as an aside, the Dallas Mavericks, who recently beat Denver, they're better than advertised. The Phoenix Suns, 
who play Golden State tonight are better than advertised. I'm not saying Dallas or Phoenix covers their next game. But keep an eye on them. They have certain pieces that are better than the public realizes. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. If there's NBA analysis that you want to share with the public, if you want to leave comments in the comment section of this video about any of the games I've opined on, please feel free to do so. Thanks for stopping by.